Hi everyone. Um, following on from my uh, little chat I had with the guys from Between the Bolter and me, I thought I'd just do a quick video on just the stuff that I use, some of the tools, um, how I even just store stuff, and it's just some of the products that I use. This is pretty much all of it. Um, I keep it all in a um, in a container here, in a um, you know tool chest. It's uh, very efficient. Up the top here, you can see that I've got um, these are just images that I that I use. Uh, these ones are really just I just think they're cool. But the other ones that have all the blue tape on them are parts of freehand that I'm going to be using for this coming project. So for the Titan, so these are just freehand ideas that I've put together and that I, that I've sort of scaled that I will use. So. You can see a variety of images there that, that will suit my Titan Legion. The chains, the uh, the anatomical drawings, the skulls. Got to have skulls, obviously, that goes without saying. Um, but let's have a look, a uh, bit of a closer look at the toolbox. So I've got these um, Artis Opus brushes. Um, I'm, I'm happy with them. I really like this triple zero brush. The other ones... I don't actually use that much. Um, I find they they're they're not as springy as I would like. They they have too much give in them. Um, they're nice brushes and they're a really good price for what you get. And I really like the box as well. Um, my favourite brush, and I think I've said this loads of times before, but I'll say it again, um, is my little. Um, this is a. Windsor & Newton Series 7 size 1 and so I've got this guy which is you can see oh, let's see if we can zoom in on that he has not got a great tip on him anymore that one um, so I've got an older one and then I've got one that's in uh, that's in better condition um, I've also got so the, there's another one of those there so I've got two I've got one that's a bit a bit crappy and one that's good uh, and then I've got a size zero uh, in the same brand, make, model. Yeah, not good there. Uh, I use a pencil. Uh, I think I've done a video. I've shown how I use the mechanical pencil uh, in a video. Let's have a look over here. This is some of the pigments. I do keep a lot of the pigments um, and the messier stuff in the in the garage um, because that's where I tend to use them. Um, but some of the things to highlight here, this panel line accent color is super handy. I use that all the time. This is the chipping fluid that I use, um, scratches effects. It seems to have a good um, a good level of uh, holding so it won't take off huge chunks all at once. You've got to actually, you've got to be more um, targeted to get rid of it. Uh, some of these things, so this is an ink that I use through the airbrush for terrain mostly. Mark Fit, this is basically this like uh, not quite as good version of Microsol or Microset. Um, all the oil brushes here. This um this is a nice color actually blue dirt. This is a MIG wash panel line wash, um, which is a that's a great color. Uh, yeah, it's all pretty straightforward stuff in there. A couple of these handles. So underneath here, if I lift this guy up, we have got some oil paints. Um, so the, there's the solvent, odorless solvent. I think I've showed you guys that before. Uh, a pot to mix in. This is a little tool that I use to extract um, airbrush paint from GW pots. Works, it works as well as you can hope. Uh, and then just some of these um, weathering powders. Uh, well, they're not really powders. They're sort of like makeup. They look like makeup. Uh, again, I've showed you these before. I think on my um, one of my um, the dreadnought videos for the Alpha Legion. Um, but I'll be using these for the Titan, so there'll be more stuff on them soon. Uh, and then I've got a drawer here that's just got a bit of Tamiya tape and all my various um, various transfers and things. So there's a variety in there. There's quite a lot in there, actually. Uh, let's have a look here now. That is just some more stuff for my wet palette and some instructions, bits of paper, random crap. Glue, Millipart. 
green stuff all in here and then extra green stuff because you always make too much yeah pretty self-explanatory um miscellaneous bits for basing for um for scratch building that sort of stuff terrain and these are the tools so these are the god hand um foam sanding blocks uh, and these are really good you can cut these up you can um you can really bend these around uh, these are fantastic these are um pro edge i think these ones were pro edge these flexi pads these are for wet sanding really you can see how well used they are I use these all the time for sanding green stuff. This is really for true scaling and also for the Titans. I've used that quite a lot. This is my little K&S cutter, um, pipe cutter. Uh, I think I spoke to the guys about that on Between the Bolter and Me. Uh, this is a fantastic little tool. Um, yeah, some nice little um, drill bits for my pin vise. This is super handy for getting... Um, glue out of the the needles of um that's what i that's all i use that for then these little needles that and the end of there so if you've got a if you've got a, a glue blockage in the end of the the nozzle bit there the metal nozzle bit chuck a bit of heat on it and uh have a rag at the end or a, a bit of paper towel at the end and it'll spit it will spit the glue out this is uh for chipping very high tech another some more little drill bits um a set square in here uh, and here is my special sanding tool. Now, I am not sure what the name of that is. If anyone knows, yeah, let me know, please. I, I need to find more of the sanding pads for it, sanding straps for it. Um, yeah, so this is the, these are the tools that I would use the most. <clears throat> um, this uh, compass, I use just the end of that as to make pilot holes. This is super handy for pilot holes for drilling bolter barrels. Uh, and then the, this is really nice. These Citadel tools are beautiful, actually. These are really nice tools. I really like this pin vise. Um, yeah, and then all the usual stuff that people have seen a million times before, but uh, what's an unusual one? Um, this is just a really nice um, shaping tool. Uh, this one, I think this one was like 30 bucks. I'm not sure why maybe because it's made in a place called germany I, i'm not sure you may have heard of it um and just some um, these are just some cheap um some cheap uh makeup brushes and these work really well as dry brushes or uh, to get uh, to clean th to clean stuff out of um models these clippers these clippers are fantastic i really like these citadel clippers um again more pens and pencils tweezers the usual sort of stuff that you see and then we've got the cutting implements so these are all pro edge um i buy a series a variety of, of scalpel blades um this is my favorite shape i'm not sure what the name of that shape is but yeah this is probably the one i use the most uh and then i've got the little um this thing's great that's a great little implement that is a tamiya one it comes with two blades there's that shape and there's another one um that i'm not going to dig around and try and find uh, but it's in there and then paint so you can see that's about the proportion of gw to um miscellaneous that i've got i'll just highlight a couple of them that i, I really like um this is mig uh, bluish titanium is a fantastic color um, this is game air by Vallejo and that is uh, gunmetal I really really like that color I really like that color uh, and then another one that I will highlight is where are you this one this is my the base for my bronzes, my golds, all of that, and that is the game color tinny tin, and it's it's equivalent to a warp block bronze, but I find that it it spreads much nicer. It just has a richer color, I think. I really like that. Uh, and then over the top of that, I I, I do use um, this the Sikorax bronze. I really like that. Um, that is a metallic that I do use from GW, um, and. 
think that's actually the only metallic I use from GW. Um, yeah, the uh, other colors in here that I would point out, this is a great blue. This is a really nice blue to add, uh, yeah, well, funnily enough, to add blue to metallics. I use that uh, to add to a silver and that gives a great metallic. Uh, yeah, and that's, um, and that's the toolbox.